Hi. Now in this next part, we've just got the tangents at P and Q meet at the point N. And we're given that P plus Q doesn't equal zero. And we've got to show that the point N has coordinates 10 P, Q over P plus Q and 10 over P plus Q. And we've got our tangents here from the previous part. So it's just a question of solving these simultaneously to find that point of intersection. So if you just want to have a go at this, uh, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So uh, doing these simultaneous equations, what I'd like to do is just number them in the usual way, we'll just call them one and two. And uh, I can see that we can eliminate the x here if we just do equation one minus equation two. And if we do that, we could pull out y as a common factor, in fact, across these two terms. We just have y multiplied by p squared minus q squared. And then it's going to equal, well, the x's have cancelled, but here we could pull out 10 as a common factor as well. And just put 10 multiplied by p minus q. And then to make y the subject, if we just divide both sides by p squared minus q squared. We've got 10 multiplied by p minus q then all over p squared minus q squared. But p squared minus q squared factorizes. It's the difference of two squares. We'll just put the top on here, the numerator, but in the denominator here this factorizes to p plus q multiplied by p minus q. And we've got a common factor here, p minus q, which we can cancel out, leaving us then with the y coordinate is 10 over p plus q. And that's what we had to show. And to get the x coordinate, then all I need to do is substitute this value into either 1 or 2. I'll substitute it into, say, 1. So if we sub in equation one, what have we got? Well, we got p squared multiplied by y, so we've got multiplied by 10 then over p plus q, and then we've got plus x equals 10p. And what I'd want to do now is multiply throughout by p plus q. So we're going to have 10p squared for that first term, and then x multiplied by p plus q, and then equals 10p multiplied by the p plus q. Now what I want to do is take away 10p squared from both sides, and at the same time expand this bracket. That's going to leave us with x times p plus q equals, and expanding that bracket gives us 10p squared plus 10pq, and if we subtract the 10p squared, then that's what we've got. Cleaning this up, you'll see that we're just left with 10pq here, and if we divide both sides by p plus q, we're left with 10pq, all divided by p plus q. And that's what we had to get for the x coordinate. So just in summary, I'm just going to say therefore n has coordinates and just copy it out again. 10pq over p plus q and then 10 over p plus q. And there's my solution.